When the Cowboys drafted in the first round, they took someone out that could help out in their passing attack with C.D. Lamb. For their second round, they took someone that could help shut down their opposing, uh, their opponent's passing attack by taking Trevin Diggs out of Alabama. Let's talk to Mike Fisher, our Cowboys maven, and Jamie Eisner, one of our NFL analysts here at Sports Illustrated. Mike, I'll start with you first. We knew that Cowboys were going to need a CB uh, in this year's draft. Are you happy with the Diggs pick? Well, when they got to the beginning of the second round, they had a group of five guys that they had high grades on. So the, the game of musical chairs was going to work out. It did seem like in their favor. And in the end, in Diggs from Alabama, they have a guy that a lot of people here in this building thought was a top 20 player. We'll find out more about exactly where he was on their board. But our scout, former Cowboy scout Brian Broaddus, who I work with, had Diggs as his 18th guy overall going into the draft and then had C.D. Lamb as the eighth guy going in overall. So on paper, this is a steal and then a double steal. Yeah, the Cowboys, it just seems like everything always falls into their lap. Uh, frustrated non-Cowboy fans from around the NFL send, send, those, send those notes to me all the time. Jamie, let me go over to you. Where does Diggs fit in in terms of where you were ranking guys via your mock drafts? Yeah, I thought he was going to sneak into the back end of the first round. He's he's a tremendous talent, converted wide receiver, ball hawk, uh, has great ball skills, and is able to generate a lot of uh, He's a little bit of a tugger sometimes on jerseys when he gets beat, but that's an easily correctable trait. Uh, I think he's going to be a huge playmaker. He's going to get a lot of opportunities in Dallas to play a prominent role this season and going forward. We got plenty of NFL draft coverage here from Sports Illustrated. Keep it locked on SI.com.